Hello everyone, back to today's first video, doing the first Summer 2021 Season 1 Roundup for today's first video. So we're going to get something like 14 long-range models again. We're going to see what they're all showing for the first time uh, for Summer 2021 uh, this season. This, of course, ahead of the uh, Summer Forecast is going to be released at the end of May. There'll be two more Season 1 Roundups before that, one at the end of April, and again one uh, towards the end of uh, May, and then we'll release our forecast, which will be like uh, model forecast forecast and also uh, analogs forecast combined so uh yeah this first uh, summer update you know uh, for the long range models is like the first salvo if you like to see what these models are suggesting but there is a long way to go uh yet i shall get on with the first summer 2021 season one around for you in a moment just say that coming up later on today we're going to have uh the uh, weekend forecast was on a saturday got your weekend look ahead and we'll have a 10 to 14 day for you uh this afternoon as well so keep checking back uh for all of the updates thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Right, let's get on with the uh, first summer 2021 season one round. If you enjoy the video, please smash your like button. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And to drop a comment, let's all let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much to Rich uh, for the summer updates gift. Right, so we begin uh, in North America. We begin in Canada, actually. This is how CanSit's mean cell pressure anomaly is looking for summer 2021 uh, via tropical tidbits. So it's showing low pressure to the north and high pressure out to the west. And winds will be coming in uh, from like a uh, rather northwesterly uh, type direction. So it's a weak signal, but probably a relatively anti-cyclonic, but not overly warm signal. The temperature anomaly for summer 2021 with Cantips is slightly above average, but only very slightly. And the precipitation anomaly for summer 2021 is uh, near normal to possibly a little bit on the drier side just to our west. So relatively quiet, sort of benign type summer from uh, Kansas. This is how IRI uh, probability uh, maps and forecasts are looking for the summer of 2021. This, of course, is in International Research Institute for Climate and Society, part of Earth Institute in Columbia University. Uh, pr uh, predicting uh, probabilities, I suppose, favouring a uh, slight, uh, slightly uh, warmer than average uh, summer, so so uh, yeah, you know, uh, favouring above average temperatures this summer, but uh, at a relatively low uh, probability. But probability is favouring uh, above average temperatures. Precipitation probabilities look like that. So for southern areas, uh, looking like it could be quite a dry sort of summer, but for northern areas, look like it could be rather wettish sort of summer. So it does imply quite a mixed sort of summer that. Uh, I would have thought, even if it's slightly milder than average. GM temperature anomalies uh, for the summer of 2021 uh, forecast coming out slightly below average. Most parts of Europe also forecast have a rather cool summer as well from the uh, GM. So, uh, yes, uh, temperature anomalies for summer 2021 looking a little bit cooler than average there. Precipitation anomalies for summer 2021 have no particular signal, no signal for precipitation. Uh, NASA uh, temperature anomaly uh, looks like that. Uh, a, a mild summer, a warm summer, a hot summer even, I suppose, but many parts. Uh, talking about mild, because I'm still in sort of winter mode, but we've got to get out of winter mode in summer mode, haven't we? So, so not mild, it's, it's warm or hot, I suppose, uh, in terms of the phraseology. But yeah, a rather, a rather warm or hot summer being predicted there for most parts. Uh, but Northern Europe with a temperature uh, anomaly from uh, NASA. We can't show you mean cell pressure of 500 millibar heights with uh, these, unfortunately. But they are useful to give a rough idea of what the temperature and precipitation is expected anyway. Uh, Precipitation-wise, maybe slightly wetter than average. So a warm but quite wet summer, uh, maybe, uh, with uh, NASA. Encar looks like this, and it's going for a hot summer in most red colours, or deep red, across most parts of Northern Europe and Northern, Northern America as well. But these two miles, uh, NASA and Encar, are really ramping up uh, the temperatures. We're like one, two degrees above average widely uh, across Northern Europe. And the uh, precipitation uh, anomaly uh, for summer 2021 from Encar is, again, showing no particular signal, no particular signal. For, uh, precipitation.
Tile Peng's uh, analogs forecast for uh, the summer of 2021 looks like this. This is a little bit different. It's not a model based forecast. This is based on sea surface temperature anomalies uh, in the month of uh, February, actually. Um, so, so Patel Peng looked at sea surface temperature anomalies across the world in the month of February. Uh, looked back at Parsius, had a similar sea surface temperature anomaly, and then based an analog, um, great analog based forecast uh, based on those sea surface temperature anomalies. So, uh, Patel Peng is forecasting sort of below average heights, 200 millibar heights anomaly, below average heights, low pressure just to the west of us. And uh, bringing the wind from off the Atlantic, so so low pressure is uh, dominated. Low pressure is in control, uh, but it's a warm summer with winds coming in uh, from the southwest. So so above average temperatures, no problems uh, with those temperatures at all. Rather warm or even quite a hottish sort of summer predicted there from Patel Peg. No particular signal uh, for precipitation uh, really, but but again with such a deep trough of low pressure uh, as that centered just to our west, I imagine that's going to be quite an unsettled summer so i would have thought it's quite a warmish maybe uh sort of southerly uh southwesterly wind direction uh but potentially quite wet CFSV2, 700 millibar height anomaly, uh, looks like this. This is all coming from, uh, like, North America. All of these models are uh, from, uh, no, but this is, like, like the final one uh, from North America. Uh, CFSV2, a rather bizarre 700 millibar height anomaly for the summer of 2021 with higher pressure above average heights uh, through here and over here as well. This white area looks strange and could well be a trough of low pressure within the 500 millibar flow. I mean, that's 700 millibar height on me. So if you was go to go down to the 500 millibar level, you will probably find that that's a trough of low pressure within the 500 millibar flow. Temperature anomalies uh, show no particular signal. Really it's like a warmish summer, not particularly hot summer, but a warmish summer being forecast out from CFSV2 for most parts of, uh, of Europe, but actually for the UK and Ireland, and much of France, we have uh, very little in way of signal for temperatures. Uh, and rather wetter as well. Look at this, above average precipitation being forecast there for Ireland and the UK for the summer of 2021. Rather above average precipitation. Right, that's it for the North American models. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the European models. Let me start off with the ECM uh, WF uh, long range season model. So, this is how the mean self pressure anomaly is looking for summer 2021 from uh, ECM WF. Again, no real signal there. Uh, very, very little to go on. Like, there is a signal, some higher pressure in the North Atlantic, but otherwise, uh, otherwise, it's just not all that much of a signal, really. Temperature anomalies uh, for summer 2021, again, from ECMWF, very weak signals uh, for the UK, for Ireland, for much of Northern Europe. A warm European summer is predicted like uh, to the south, we Mediterranean, but, but there's not really much of a signal there for Ireland and the UK and much of Northern Europe. And uh, ECMWF precipitation anomaly, again, it's all looking very mysterious, isn't it? It's rather wetter than average across Scandinavia rather dry of an average through Spain and into the Med. So, so it implies probably quite a zonally sort of uh, summer, I would have thought, with low pressure through here, higher pressure through here, and probably just a flat westerly, which, of course, you're not going to be overly warm in, uh, in the summer. A westerly isn't going to deliver overly warm weather and could be a little bit cool and mixed, really. This is how uh, Metro France is looking in terms of the mean sea level pressure anomaly for summer 2021. Again, we see plenty of low pressure of in the northern latitudes, lots of low pressure around green and ice, so no northern blocking. Weak silver higher pressure just to the southwest of Ireland, but it is a very weak area of high pressure. And I would have thought that's all just looking rather westerly uh, with Metro France. Uh, once again, it's all coming from Copernicus.eu, by the way. Temperature anomalies uh, with Metro France above average, around a uh, half degree to one degree above average through, through the UK and Ireland. So quite a warm summer predicted and a little bit drier as well. So this is one of the better models, I think. It's slightly more of an anticyclonic signal. So a rather warmer and drier summer from uh, Metro France. DWD uh, looks like that. Again, uh, mean of pressure anomalies for summer 2021 showing lower pressure to the north and over Scandinavia. High pressures of mid-Atlantic ridge 
in the middle of the Atlantic. Probably sends the jet stream on a northwest to southeast alignment, uh, really. So again, the temperature anomaly has a very weak signal, no real signal here for temperature anomalies during summer 2021 uh, with Metro, with a DWD, I should say. And maybe it's going to be a rather, uh, rather unsettled summer as well. Slightly above average precipitation uh, to, just to our north and northwest, but driving average to our south and southwest. CMCC, Mediterranean models, very mysterious in terms of the uh, mean cell pressure anomaly for summer of 2021. I have to say, it's all very patchy, is it? Let me know in the comments what you think. It's all looking very, very uh, mysterious. There's not a great deal to go on in a lot of these models. All looking very flimsy, almost as though they just don't really have a signal yet uh, for this summer. And CMCC is right at the far end of that idea because there's absolutely nothing to work on there. Uh, whatsoever. The temperature anomaly uh, with CMCC is above average, so it is going for quite a warm summer, uh, especially for Northern Europe, so so quite a warm uh, summer being predicted there. But again, looking quite quite um, sort of uh, mixed in terms of the uh, precipitation anomaly, so just to our northwest from here, it's wetter than average. It's a little bit dry on average around Spain and Portugal, but, but large areas have got no signal, and it all just looks very mysterious, I have to say, <laughs> this summer with these models. Uh, this is how the JMA is looking. Uh, this is one of the best models, I think. JMA means sea level, sea level pressure anomalies, or summer 2021 looks like that. Going for a rubber zone or summer, high pressure is centred uh, to the south-southwest, low pressure is centred to the north-northwest, probably bringing in like a flat sort of westerly flow uh, for this summer. The temperature anomaly with the JMA is slightly above average. So, so average to slightly above in that uh, yellow shading. So, so only up to like half a degree above average. So basically it's near normal with the, uh, with the temperature anomaly, but, but on the mild side. And the precipitation anomaly, again, as with so many of these models, all looking very patchy through most parts of northern Western Europe with, with very, very little the way of a scene. We have not got jams tech uh, to show you uh, this month. They're offline. I don't know what's happened, whether they'll come back. We'll have to wait and see. So we'll move from JMA to uh, move from JMA to Bayesian Climate Centre. Uh, again, this is one of the best models. Uh, Bayesian Climate Centre, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly for summer 2021. Looks like this. We are near the end now, uh, by the way. So uh, showing a high pressure, or above average heights, high pressure just to our west, and probably bringing them away from like a west or a northwesterly direction. Like if there is a theme among these ones, it's probably for a rather westerly winter, um, summer. That might not, not still in winter mode, you see. That might not necessarily mean that, that it's overly unsettled. It just depends how far north that ridge of high pressure is in the North Atlantic. So it might not be a, red, it might not be a, a particularly wet summer, uh, but but a westerly uh, sort of summer looks like it, it, it it's, uh, it's it's in pole position for the a lot of these models I think. The uh, this one a little at a different level. This is two hundred millibar height anomaly from uh, Bayesian Climate Centre model. Again, you see the idea is that the high pressure, the above average heights, is in the middle of the North Atlantic. We're sending in the jet stream on a northwest to southeast alignment. So so it looks like we're westerly to northwesterly. Not overly wet, but but not particularly mild because the air is coming in off the Atlantic. So the temperature anomaly is no better than average, uh, really, just in those very pale colours. No better than average with the temperature anomaly for summer 2021. And the precipitation anomaly is drier than average. So although it's quite a coolish uh, summer, it's also quite a dryish uh, summer signal uh, as well, that high pressure part uh, to the west of Ireland. So, so rather a quiet, nondescript, rather dull sort of summer, I would have thought, on the Beijing Climate Centre. And then the last model uh, that we've got is uh, our very own UK Met Grossly 5. So this is how the uh, mean cell pressure 
anomaly from the UK Met is looking for summer 2021. Uh, if you enjoy this uh, season one roundup, please smash that like button and let us know in the comments what you think, by the way. Thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. Uh, so low pressure to our north, a little bit of higher pressure out to our west, basically bringing in uh, like a westerly flow. So much of a muchness with so many of these uh, models, really. The temperature anomaly is average to slightly above average, certainly not a particularly hot summer being single, but not a particularly cool summer either. The precipitation anomaly perhaps coming out slightly on the drier than average side. And that brings to an end the first summer 2021 season while around. So what do we make of that? I think it's very, very patchy, uh, this. I think a lot of these models have not yet got the single. I think a lot of these models are struggling, um, you know, to, to try and see where it's going into the summer. Quite a few of them could well be defaulting uh, back to the default for pattern, which is westerly. Um, and, and it all looks rather flimsy, this, to me. Uh, maybe we'll finish up with, like, a ridge just to our west and bring in westerly, so have quite a quiet, dull, cloudy, relatively dry, but cool summer. It may pan out like that, but I will wait and see what that second update that we're going to do uh, in, on the last Saturday of April has to say, because I have a feeling that these models may shift one way or another, I think I think they may shift like to a hotter, drier pack. They may deteriorate into something a lot cooler and wetter. I think so. So I think this update is like a holding pattern, or this month is like a holding pattern for a lot of these models while they're trying to uh, you know calculate where things are going to go. But next month they may firm up in one direction or another. So so I think next month's update for summer 2021 for these models is going to be very very interesting. Right, this video will be placed on the Summer 2020 Updates page at gasloves.com. You'll also be able to see it uh, on the uh, YouTube channel uh, with the uh, Summer 2021 playlist. So you'll be able to watch this video on demand whenever you would like to do that. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day, be it technically all regular features. But before that, have a weekend broadcast, as always, on a Saturday. For this first Summer 2021 season, we'll round up. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.